Hello guys, welcome to Master Tech. In this video, you will see how to use a motor shield with the Arduino Uno and you will control the DC motors speed and direction and you will also learn to program the motor shield. So let's get started. First of all, what is a motor shield and why we need to use it? Because the Arduino on its own cannot control the direction of the motors because it can't supply reverse voltage. So we need some sort of motor driver boards to control the direction of the motor. So with the motor shield you can control for DC motors, two stepper motors and two servo motors. So now let's see what the board is actually made up of and how we can use it. First of all, there are 4 ports for connecting 4 DC motors M1, M2, M3 and M4 and there are 2 ports for connecting 2 servo motors or 2 stepper motors and these 2 are the L2 and 3D ICs which are used to control the speed and direction of our DC motor and this is the shift register which is used to communicate with the Arduino and this is the LED indicator to indicate the whether the power supply is given to the motor shield or not and this is the power supply ports for the motor shield we can su supply up to 25 volts of power to this motor shield I recommend you to always use a separate power supply for the shield because when using large number of DC motors the motor shield may not be able to drive all of them so I recommend using two types of batteries one is the lead acid battery and the other is the 18650 battery gain so now let's control the speed and direction of the DC motor using the motor shield first of all let's stack the motor shield into the Arduino Now let's connect a DC motor to the motor shield. Connect the DC motor like this in the motor shield and connect the Arduino to the PC. Now let's see how we can program the motor shield. First of all, go to the description and download the library from the link now open Arduino IDE go to sketch go to include library go to add dodge, dodge zip library and go to the download folder and select the library I have already installed the library so now let's Include the library. Now let's set up the DC motor. I'm going to name the motor as motor 1 and it is set up in first terminal of the motor shield. Now let's set the speed on the motor. You can set it anywhere from 0 to 255. Now let's make the motor move forward. Now let's upload the code. I will leave the link for all the codes in the description. That's it for the code. As you can see, 
now the motor is running power now let's make the motor move back and forth now again open the arduino ide and add these lines what we are going to do is we are going to make the motor run forward for one second and stop for one second and then run in reverse direction for one second Now let's upload. That's it for the code. As you can see, the motor is going forward and backward for one second. So that's it for the video guys, hope it helped you and thanks for watching, leave your feedback and subscribe for more videos like this, cheers.